Okay, welcome back to Quest of Key, the final part. Um, yeah, that's right. This is going to be the final video, and yeah, it's also gonna be the final set of challenges, the very hardest ones, except for the bonus levels. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> well, this starting room here, I don't like it all. Like, you just gotta take a leap of faith. If that, if that stupid bird comes, you're just dead. And they move so fast, like it's. Ridiculous, and these aren't even the most dangerous forms of them. I believe the very last stage or second to last one has birds very similar to these, but they're also bigger. And yeah, they are just very annoying to deal with. <laughs> well, 45 is a breeze anyway. Um, that first chest there that we skipped contains a time clock, and yeah, you really don't need a time clock unless you want. More points, you know, when you cross the finish line there. Which, yeah, I don't really care too much about that. Nice. Um, let's see, down here. I believe we have a, an extra life down here. We might as well get it, I guess. Yeah, and the only reason I paused there was just so that the stone guy wouldn't catch up to me. Oh, and only five seconds left. Well, six seconds left. Let's just. Get out of there! As fast as we can. 47. Yeah, I remember this one. Um, we definitely want to get this chest here. As it will contain an item that will help us. Yes, okay, I remember the right. Well, I remember right. Uh, it's a silence spell. Now this ghost can't chew with us with their nasty spells. Oh, okay. Got a little bit lucky there. We gotta try and time it again. Nice. The controls are quite fluid, so it is trickier than you would think to dodge all of this. Now, this chest is not required to be the level. I'm just gonna see what it is. Oh, an empty chest. Great. <laughs> yeah, when you get those empty things there, I read up on it. It's just nothing. It's just an empty chest. So yeah, I wasted a bunch of time there. Great. <laughs> Ooh, and 48 is actually a really cool stage. Yes, it's the flying maze here. Or, well, not so much a maze, but... You gotta fly through here without bogging into the walls. Uh, you, will, you will just fall on the spikes if you do so. Yeah, pretty nice uh, little level here. Just gotta lightly tap the A button to try and navigate as well as you can. We saw the goal up there, so just carefully, very, very carefully tap it and speed button. Nice, okay. So, yeah, um, so far we're breezing through this uh, already at 49. Oh, and yeah, 49. This, this level is a very trolly stage. You see those spikes up there on the very top floor. You might be thinking, how the hell would we cross all of that? Well, down this hallway, we do get the flying power up. So now, you think to yourself, well, there's a chest up there, I wanna go get that. But, <laughs> if you do end up going over there, the chest contains the poison, the power up, so yeah. You'll just die if you go there, and <laughs> wow, I bonked my freaking forehead there and got shot up my ass. <laughs> got my ass burnt. You know what? We're just gonna skip the flying crap there. We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna do some distance jumping here, you know. Do what Key does best and land directly on the spikes. Nice. Very nice. Well. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just do our best here now and not choke anymore. If we lose a bunch of lives here already, that's not gonna bode well, because, yeah, the stages up ahead are gonna get even harder. Believe it or not. Ooh, and here we have those little birds again, and I immediately re recall this one. We have an ogre here. And down over here, there is a vampire. Yes, I know, they don't look like vampires, but you just gotta <laughs> t 
take my word for it. <laughs> so they are vampires. Now, we gotta get rid of those guys, so first off, we're gonna head down here and hug the ball. If not, you're gonna get shish kebabed. We wanna avoid that. Uh, we might actually get shish kebabed right there. Oh my god, dude, I avoid them just by a pixel. And see, here we have another one of these yams. Like, it's just blind. You just gotta... Oh my god. <laughs> you just gotta get lucky, basically. Well, we did get the orb there, so... Now the hardest part is done. That part up there with the bird is the most nasty part of this whole trip here. Yeah, as you can see now the ogre is gone. Now we can get up here and get the cross. And the cross will get rid of the vampire. The vampire yeti. And yeah, actually I completely forgot this part here is so actually... Yeah, it's nasty too. Yeah, this is probably the hardest part. <laughs> Never mind me, you guys. Nice, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We got the cross. Now we just gotta time this well. Nice. Boy. <sighs> okay, nice, 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 nice. Get lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, so lucky. Oh, yo, yo, yes. Once again, a blind jump. But. <laughs> Thankfully, there is only one of these pink slow assholes down here, so yeah, he's not gonna hit you very often. <laughs> I don't like that this game does, you know, these kind of things this late in the game, you know. These lucky jumps, uh, where you can get screwed, you, you know. Even though you can't really do- you, you can't do anything against it, you know, you just gotta take a leap of faith and hopefully the enemies aren't there. A little bit of- <laughs> a little bit of bullshit, but you know. I can take it, I guess. And nice, okay. So yeah, I did it on first try. On first try, on the first attempt there. That was very nice. I'm actually kind of happy I did that. 51. Yeah, 51 is super easy. You just gotta grab the key and head for the door up there. You only have 30 seconds, so you know, just do that and don't do what I'm about to do here. Um, I'm just gonna do this for showcasing sake. We're gonna go over here and show what we find over here. Here we see a gimmick. If you touch him, you die, so... Yeah. It is a moot point coming here altogether. It's just a waste of an extra life and I'm gonna lose all my wonderfully stacked points here showcasing this. <laughs> now, here down this pathway on the bottom floor is a teleporter to stage 58, I think? 58 or 59? It is very hard to get it, though. You basically gotta do, you know, this head barking trick here. Like this. And then you can just grab the chest, and now I'm gonna die because of time out here, but yeah. That's basically how you get the teleport chest there. So, yeah. <laughs> bye bye, 50k. Was nice knowing you. Please continue. So yeah, we're just gonna finish this stage off here. And see, this is also very questionable level design here. Like, yeah, we're on level 51, and this is how you complete the stage. This is how you complete it. <laughs> no challenge whatsoever. I mean, sure, the, the the teleport is very challenging, but yeah, well, it's like it just feels kind of silly. In my own honest opinion. And this, yeah, you gotta have some time here. You gotta figure it out. And this level is actually one of the trickier ones uh, from 45 to 60. Uh, that is not the way to do it, too. Yeah. Just gonna chill here for a bit. We do have an extra hit now, that's what's glowing here. So, yeah, we're just gonna. Hope we can. I passed this frog here, hopefully, and I did not pass him. Holy crap. What the heck? <laughs> well, that did not end so well. I wish I could have shown you how to do that the proper way. You know what? We will... I'll... Yeah. I'll get a game over and we'll try it again. And see if we can't show off how to do that in one single attempt without removing any enemies. It is... Very tricky and requires some um, 
well, precise platforming, but yeah. I'll be back in a second there to try the up again. Okay, here we are. Nice, and here's what you want to do, just... I bonked my head there and so I couldn't go, but I think you saw what I was going for. You want to go past the first one and just use your invincibility frames on the second one and just jump for it as soon as you can and bypass them. But yeah, hopefully that made sense. It is very hard to do, but I've done it, I know that it's possible. Okay, well... How do we want to use this extra hit here now? Preferably not on the frog. Yeah, so see, when they were both there, you were just gonna go down here, take the hit from him, and jump up before the second one can run up and hit you from behind. That's basically what I was talking about there. Oh well. Level 53. Yeah, this level is kind of weird. <laughs> they have this lion here, and... You might think that it is an enemy, but actually, if you touch him, you get an extra hit. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but there it is, anyway. I'm just gonna grab the, all the buffs here, you, you know, the candles so that we can see the ghosts, and the silence spell so that they can't shoot with us. And I wasted my extra hit there, that wasn't great. Oh, we shouldn't need the extra hit for the rest of this level here. <laughs> I say as you take a hit. Alright, here we go. I went ahead and got another game over so that we can do this. With all the enemies present, hopefully here. Just gotta... <sighs> Fuck. Nemen! Oh! Oh, yo, yo! <laughs> You just gotta do two quick little jumps there and you will be fine, but yeah, I just kept screwing it up there. And yeah, we have a, a final tricky jump here. Just gotta go over this dude. Land in between. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, I wish I could have shown it the proper way, but yeah, you, you get the picture. You just gotta do two small hops over the blobs and the rest is a cakewalk, basically. Ooh, and yeah, this level, <laughs> there are a few ways of doing this, uh, this, two ways actually. That chest up there that the dragon is guarding contains one of these rings that will let you pass through the pixies here, or the, the will-o'-wisps, not the pixies. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is the easy way of doing the level, just jumping down there, you know, jump over this guy, time it, jump down, grab the chest, and yeah, just get out of there, but... I'm gonna do this the harder way. It is very easy to finish this level with the Willow Wisp or the anti Willow Wisp ring. Holy crap. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the hard way just because it's a little bit more interesting. And yeah, or it's gonna be cool as a cucumber and pull this one off here. Perfect. And perfect. Nice. Oh, that was. Not, that was that was not perfect. <laughs> that was closer than I thought. So yeah. Now, once again, if you had the Willow Wisp ring, you could just fall down here, you know. The Willow Wisp can't kill you, but since we don't have it, you actually gotta make this jump, which makes it a lot tougher to do this level. <laughs> but if you do wanna, uh, want as much or as high a score as possible, this might be the faster way. I'm not sure, actually. I am not sure at all. But yeah, I wanna do it like this. Just because it's more challenging. And yeah, see, you don't have to go down there on the side either if you have the Willow Whispering. You can just fall straight down through it and get to the door. It's, yeah, kind of making the level a little bit laughable almost. And I don't really recall this one. Oh, yo, yo, dude, that scared me. Now I remember. We have these turd monsters here. Yeah, this is a frustrating level. <laughs> Let's see here. They do just pop up. You don't see them until you're very up close. Yeah, see, you gotta like feel your way through this level. And I believe there is another one. Or another two, maybe, you know. Lurking somewhere around here. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Oh, yo, 
Yo yo, that was close. Be very careful. Very very careful. And there is a black slime there. Don't get close to him. Yeah, see there is the exit. I believe if you go to the right here, all you get is that black slime there. As far as I know, there are no chests here, and I really don't want to find out. I really don't want to find out. You know what? I'll make a save state and we'll try for it. Okay. I made a short save state, and... Oh! Now we're gonna see if there is anything here. Uh -huh. Yeah, see... I'm pretty sure it's just all open. That's what my guide is telling me anyway. I haven't actually ever been here before myself. And holy crap, dude. <laughs> what is up with this? Is there seriously nothing here? Well, there's a dragon here. <laughs> <laughs> and a spike pit. Oh, that was funny. Stupid, but funny. Well, I'm actually not gonna reload the save state there. I, I, <laughs> I was just gonna make a save state in case, you know, I had to try that one challenge over and over many times, you know, to get those first few jumps. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so I'll just cut back. See you in a second. Okay, back here again. Please don't kill me. Thank you! Fuck! Oh, should I just load the save state? You know what? Fuck it. We're not doing it. We're gonna do this the legit way. Too legit to quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh! Maybe I'll just cut that out, that was... <laughs> Very stupid. Okay, well, whatever. I'll just leave it in to punish myself, I guess. Okay, well, we're heading for the door. Get us out of here. Ooh, level 56. Only four more stages to go and we're done. Very nice. And... Yeah, I think all these chests in this stage are actually empty. I mean, we can try and get this one, but I want to say this is empty. Yeah. I recall this. And uh, don't fly too high here or you'll die. Get the key and... See, see there is something else back there. I'm not going for it. <laughs> I'm running out of time here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there is more, <clears throat> more empty chests back there. Like... Yeah, th this game is kind of weird like that. They have those weird, pointless places for players who want to go explore and, you know, they just get punished for it. It's kind of lame, <laughs> almost. <laughs> and yeah, here, here we have the birds that we were talking about earlier. The bigger, improved birds. Holy crap, how did I pull that off? Oh my god! <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm speechless. How did I pull that off? That was nice. I don't care what anyone says. That was nice. I was dreading that level. I hate that one. That is so tough. That is one of the tougher ones. Like, <laughs> seriously. Well, with the exception of 59, of course, but... Um, and speaking of 59... Yeah. <laughs> We're on it right now. It's a pretty long level, kind of a long one, and you gotta go around and collect some items here. You see, now we can't get through there, we're gonna go and get the ring somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it is, but thankfully the game is fairly linear, so... Yeah, shouldn't be us, shouldn't be too hard on us. Very nice, especially with the ring here. It'll be very easy to traverse this. Oh yeah, now I remember. Now you can either backtrack and go through the Willow Wisp there, or you can just do this path, the harder path. And like, this isn't very hard, so I really don't think there's any reason not to not go for this, since you get... Well, you get to the goal much quicker, but... 
Might as well take it. Oh, and that was a 59, that was, that was 58. Whoops, I had it all wrong then. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, dude, no, I remember this one. Okay, I see, there's a trick for this one. I remember doing it like this. Just chase this guy here. While you pick up the lamp light. Which, once again, will show us those red ghosts that are otherwise invisible. And... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we wanna go up here. This is the wing power up here. Yeah, nice. And then... We go down here, I think? I believe this here is the silence spell. So now the ghosts aren't stealthed, or they aren't in stealth, and they can't shoot it at us. So, yeah, now we're just gonna get through here. Which... Uh, oh my god! Oh, I thought it was dead! That was some clutch dodging. No, we don't want to die here. That would be awful. Okay, nice. Well, <laughs> that was the last stage of Quest of Key there. Well, with the exception of this one. Level 60. We get this ominous music and... You can walk around here in this room here. And we'll see that thing up there. That is actually the stuff that the goddess sent us to collect. Like, some evil demon took it away from her and she sent the priestess key here to go retrieve it. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and collect it. Pick it up. And now the game plays itself. It's just gonna be a little cutscene here, if you will. Happy music! What is this? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the wand is gone. Or stuff, whatever. And we're dead. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You actually die at the end of this game. You cannot beat this game as far as I'm aware. Like as I said, well I believe I said at the beginning of this let's play. This is a prequel to the game Tower of Druaga where basically there is this knight or whatever going in to retrieve the wand or avenge the priestess or something or other like that. But yeah, the fate of Ki is basically, yeah, she, she started it all, you know, she was the first hero sent out and yeah, she sadly got <laughs> turned into a rock. Um, so yeah, kind of a bummer ending, but yeah, that's how this game goes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Well, joking aside, um, I would like to get into the special status just a little bit, just to show you at least the very first one, if I can even beat it. It's very tough. Like like I said, like the difficulty goes from like a. 5 or 6 out of 10 up to a 9 out of 10 right out of the bat. Like, it's ridiculously tough. It's like playing Super Mario and all of a sudden you got Kaizo stages on your hand almost. Like, it's really, really brutal. And some of the major stages, like, past level 80. Like, it is so tough. It is so freaking tough. Okay, if you really want a big challenge and just don't care about the main plot of the game, like, all the easier stages, you can just look up a guide over all the warps and you know that way you just have to play like let's see here seven stages or so and you'll be all the way uh, up to level 58 um or maybe it's six, six warps to get you from beginning to end something around like that so you can very easily teleport your way to the kaiser stages if you do want to try them out for yourself but you know they yeah they are they are very tricky so yeah, maybe we should just cut out the waiting here. This is the credits rolling, as you can tell. <laughs> I think we're just gonna cut this out to the ending here, and I'll see you with this special stage in a second. See you, see you there. Okay, so we're back here at the starting screen. Um, 
We're gonna just go ahead and press continue now that we died by the last boss there or the final dude or whatever from the Tower of Droga and for some reason we're alive again and <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, this is the first stage of the bonus levels. And it's pretty damn rough. Right off the bat. Maybe I will do this at some point in the future, like try and do all the stages, uh, but it would be a blind playthrough, uh, since I have no practice with this. Um, it would be very slow for me to get through all of this, <laughs> since I don't know what I'm doing, I don't have any experience and yeah. But you know, there aren't very many watching the Quest of Key here anyway on my channel, so I probably won't be doing that. Um, yeah, it's just gonna take up a whole lot of time from Mega Man Maker or potential other playthroughs I wanna start up. We'll see though. Maybe I'll at some point get a craving and just get to it. <laughs> Maybe. Now, maybe we can do this here. This one <laughs> isn't too hard. You just gotta do some very precise platforming. Oh yeah, and I also believe there are teleporters here in the bonus stages as well, but <laughs> if you grab teleporters, I believe you're sent back instead of forward. Um, so yeah. This makes exploring even more dangerous than before during the normal playthrough, because if you pick up a chest here and it contains a teleport, you'll basically just get screwed. Which is another thing that makes me not want to play this particularly a whole lot. Yeah, since you can just get boned for, you know, being curious, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kind of weird how they chose to go about doing it, but you know, that's how it is. I'm actually kind of surprised that they actually, you know, don't respawn enemies here in the bonus episodes or in the bonus levels. I, I almost, you know, you would figure they would turn that shit off, you know, so that you would have to do each level properly, but. <laughs> yeah, see, there we have a Pac Man ghost. And yeah, here we have the little dicks jumping around and I died to the frog but yeah let's just try one more life here and then we're just gonna call it quits um we don't need this to be a incredibly long video here go yeah so hopefully at least a few of you <laughs> have been enjoying this series here. Short and sweet. I was very hyped when I first began playing it. Like, yeah, I was really into it, but yeah, it dwindled quite quickly for me. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Like the interest. And holy cow, see, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This is insane. Like, as I said before. I haven't played all the bonus stages here, but I have seen videos of it. And like, there are stages up ahead, you know, with Willow is playing back and forth, and you know, you gotta bonk your head to pass on through obstacles. Uh, there is all kinds of nasty shit up ahead, so yeah. I think we're just gonna go ahead and end the project here. Like, it was a lot of fun, but yeah, I feel quite full on this game as of right now. Um, I think for other or later new side projects that I might want to do, like, I might want to go through and do Bionic Commando for the NES or the Wild Guns for the Super Nintendo or heck, Bomberman 2 since I did the first Bomberman game on my channel um, a year back or so. That could be a lot of fun too. Yeah, there definitely are a couple of games that I would be interested to play. Um, I would even like to do over Mega Man 4 again, since I don't really like my first playthrough of that, like, my commentary is very shitty in it. So yeah, I might actually do that first. <laughs> Either way, thank you guys so very much for watching this series, and yeah, <laughs> have a nice day. Dude, that is one ugly villain. <laughs> He's got a mustache.
Oh, see you later. And he's pointing at his dick. Look at that.